Anita <laughs> Collins, so great to chat with you again. Thanks for coming on the quick chat with me today. Thank you very much for having me. I'm very excited. And I am super excited that you're going to be joining us for the Piano Pivot Live conference in January with all us piano teachers. Uh, tell us quickly, what, uh, what are you quite well known for, for those of you who might not know you if they're outside Australia? Um, well, I'm a music teacher who's absolutely fascinated by um, the brain science behind music learning, so how the brain is changed by the act of learning music. So I've been really lucky. I've done some stuff with um, TED Education. I did a TEDx talk as well, and I got to just talk about the idea that if every child had music education from birth, what would our society look like? So still excited about this field of research, more excited every day. Uh, that's very, very cool. And you featured recently uh, as one of the um, consultants, I guess, on one of the TV programs about music in primary schools here on the ABC network, which was really, I mean, everyone was talking about it when it was, when it was happening. Uh, yeah. and that was all about just trying to get more music back into primary and elementary education, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it was, um, there were so many touching stories because we went into a school that was really, really challenging and we took music into them, something they had never really thought they would get the opportunity to do. And we watched their progress both for them as, you know, young people as well as their academic development. And there were huge leaps and bounds from, from what we were able to do. And it's still going even now. So very proud of the program, very proud of what we got um, other people to be able to see that that magic of learning a musical instrument. Yeah, and the donations you got and stuff of instruments. Oh, yeah. so it was yeah. I mean, it really tugged at the heartstrings seeing the change mm. in these kids' lives. Just amazing. Yeah. So congratulations for your work on that. And Thank I you. know that you're going to bring some great stories to us for the conference. Now, your topic is called Fireworks in the Musical Brain. And I'm really interested to know what got you thinking about this as a particular topic for our delegates. Well, the right at the start of the research, they saw that the brain lit up all over the place when we were either listening to music, but even more when we were learning and playing music. And that got me thinking as a teacher, I'm looking on the outside of my student trying to figure out what it is that they need and why they're struggling with something and why they leap ahead with something. Whereas with this research, it kind of gives us some of those answers. It gives us the whys. And I think that's the bit worth sharing because yes. it helps us not only with those kids that we're struggling with, but when those kids are really in the zone and they're learning and our teaching is really in the zone as well. So I'm really excited to share that research, but research is only good if it is applied and it's mm. practical. So it's very much about, as you, as you said, telling stories about what I've seen, but also different ways I've seen people teach that have really supercharged their students' brains. Right. And so do you think teachers will be able to take away some, some con concrete ideas of ways in which they can use that research in their own studios? Yeah, absolutely. And it's not a, a you know, this is how you should do it. It's not, a, it's not a method. It's actually saying, look, you do amazing things already. This is maybe why it works, but also you could do some more of this and it could be even more beneficial. So absolutely, everything has to be practical um, in music. Otherwise, what's the point? Absolutely. And I'm really excited too that you're going to be joining us like our speakers for the day so mm -hmm. that our delegates will not only be able to hang out with you at lunchtime and have a cup of tea with you, but you're going to be joining us for our afternoon mastermind session. So these are a chance mm -hmm. for our teachers to sit at a round table with some of our speakers from the day and actually deep dive into mm -hmm. asking them as many questions as they want and hopefully planning some some things that they can do with your help. So what do you think would be a key benefit of this? Because I'm trying to do something different here that you don't normally see at conferences. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I think it's a great idea. I think often, you know, I'll get asked to say that big overarching question, what are the benefits to brain development of music learning? It's like that's a big question. Whereas when you sit with someone and you go, you know, I think the more narrow questions, why does this work or why does a child have trouble with this or why does this happen or how do we get this to, you know, really specific practical questions which I love bringing the science to and then saying, well, what we know so far is this is what's happening in the brain. Maybe you, this is what works or maybe you could try this. So mm. I think it's all about asking those questions you don't get the chance to ask in those, those big sessions and getting some practical stuff and listening to the other people around the table. In many cases, you hear stuff and go, that's a great idea. I want to try that. Yeah. The uh, collective genius, as I've heard it called, of the room, I think is so Absolutely. powerful. At conferences, one of the reasons that I'm putting this on and getting us all together. So, look, yeah. thank you so much, Anita. I can't wait to hang out with you properly in January. It's been a little while since I saw you. Yeah. In person. Um, <laughs> and it's going to be such a motivating, fun and innovative event. Innovative event. So, um, yeah, look forward to seeing you in January. It's going to be so much fun. 
Just before you go guys, I wanna make sure you're aware of Piano Pivot Live. It's my first ever Piano Teachers Conference and it's being held 23rd and 24th of January right here in my hometown of Melbourne. Beautiful weather in summer, of course. If you wanna find out more about it, head to timtopham.com conference. It's gonna be an incredible experience and I can't wait to welcome you to Melbourne. See you then.